Seven things you need to give up on in order to become rich. Imagine if I told you there was a secret to becoming rich. Yes, you heard that right. A real secret and it's not about working harder or longer hours. It's about letting go of certain habits and mindsets that hold you back. Think about it. If you're holding on to a heavy rock, you can't pick up the gold lying right next to you. That's what we're talking about today. Do you want to drop that rock and grab the gold? Stay with me, and I promise you'll discover the seven things you need to give up to unlock the door to wealth. And hey, if you're as excited as I am, type I'm ready for gold in the comments, and I'll reply with a heart. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this journey to richness with your friends. Becoming rich isn't just about making money. It's about changing the way you think and live. To get rich, you need to let go of some old habits and beliefs that are holding you back. Today, I'll share with you the seven things you need to give up to become rich. Each of these things is like a weight pulling you down. And once you let them go, you'll start rising towards success and wealth. So, are you ready to learn and change your life for the better? Let's dive in. 1. Give up your fear of failure. Fear of failure is like a giant wall blocking your path to success. When you're scared to fail, you don't take risks. And without risks, you can't achieve big rewards. Think about a baby learning to walk. They fall down many times, but they always get back up. If they were too scared to try, they would never learn to walk. Successful people understand that failure is a part of the journey. They see it as a learning experience. When you fail, you learn what doesn't work, and that brings you one step closer to finding what does work. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, failed thousands of times before he succeeded. He didn't see those failures as a waste. He saw them as steps to his success. So, how do you give up your fear of failure? Start by changing your mindset. Instead of thinking, what if I fail? Think, what can I learn if I fail? This small change in thinking can make a big difference. Also, take small steps outside your comfort zone. Each little success will build your confidence and reduce your fear. For example, if you want to start a business but are afraid it might fail, begin with a small project. If it doesn't work out, you'll have learned valuable lessons without losing too much. Over time, these lessons will add up and you'll be better prepared for bigger challenges. Remember, every successful person has failed many times, but they kept going. You can too. 2. Give up negative thinking. Negative thinking is like putting on dark glasses that make everything look worse than it is. When you focus on what's wrong, you miss out on what's right. Imagine trying to find a treasure while constantly thinking, I'll never find it. You'd give up before you even start. Successful people think positively. They believe in their abilities and focus on their goals. Positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring problems. It means looking for solutions instead of dwelling on the problems. It's about having hope and believing that you can overcome obstacles. To give up negative thinking, start by catching yourself when you think something negative. Then challenge that thought. For example, if you think, I can't do this, ask yourself, why can't I? What can I do to make it possible? Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Tell yourself, I can do this. I have the skills and the determination. Also, surround yourself with positive people. Their attitude will rub off on you. Read inspiring books or watch motivational videos. Fill your mind with positive messages. Over time, you'll find that your thinking changes. You'll start to see opportunities where you once saw obstacles. For example, if you're trying to save money but keep thinking, I'll never be able to save enough, change that thought to, I can save a little each week and it will add up. This positive approach makes saving feel doable instead of impossible. Remember, positive thinking is the key to seeing and seizing opportunities. 3. Give up. Making excuses. Excuses are like chains that keep you from moving forward. They're reasons you give yourself to avoid taking action. When you make excuses, you're telling yourself that you're not in control, that you can't change your situation. 
But the truth is, you have more power than you think. Successful people take responsibility for their lives. They don't blame others or their circumstances. Instead, they find ways to overcome obstacles. They know that every excuse is a step away from their goals. If you want to become rich, you need to stop making excuses and start taking action. To give up making excuses, first, recognize when you're doing it. Whenever you catch yourself saying, I can't because stop and ask, is this really true or is it just an excuse? Then think of what you can do instead. For example, if you're saying, I can't start my own business because I don't have enough money, ask yourself, what can I do to start with the resources I have? Also, remember that you don't have to do everything perfectly. Sometimes we make excuses because we're afraid of not being perfect. But perfection isn't the goal. Progress is. Take small steps and keep moving forward, even if it's not perfect. Over time, these small steps will lead to big changes. For example, if you want to learn a new skill but keep saying, I don't have time, look at your schedule. Can you find 10 minutes a day? Start there. Use those 10 minutes to practice. You'll be surprised how much you can achieve with small, consistent efforts. Remember, excuses are just barriers you put up yourself. Tear them down and take control of your life. 4. Give up a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence are static and can't change. People with a fixed mindset think they're either good at something or they're not, and that's it. This kind of thinking limits your potential because it stops you from trying new things or improving yourself. Successful people have a growth mindset. They believe that their abilities can be developed through hard work and dedication. They see challenges as opportunities to grow and learn. When you have a growth mindset, you're more resilient and open to new experiences. To give up a fixed mindset, start by understanding that intelligence and talent are not fixed traits. You can always improve and learn. When you face a challenge, don't say, I can't do this. Instead, say, I can learn how to do this. Embrace challenges and see them as opportunities to grow. Also, be aware of your self-talk. If you catch yourself thinking, I'm not good at this, add the word yet. Say, I'm not good at this yet. This small change in language can have a big impact on your mindset. It reminds you that you have the potential to improve. For example, if you struggle with public speaking, don't say, I'm just not a good speaker. Instead, say, I can become a better speaker with practice. Then take steps to improve. Join a public speaking club or take a course. Practice regularly. Over time, you'll see improvement. Remember, a growth mindset opens up a world of possibilities. It allows you to see challenges as stepping stones to success. Embrace it and watch your potential grow. 5. Give up procrastination. Procrastination is the habit of putting things off. It's like having a big dream but always saying, I'll start tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes and you never move forward. Procrastination keeps you stuck in the same place, unable to make progress towards your goals. Successful people understand the importance of taking action. They don't wait for the perfect moment because they know it will never come. They start now with what they have and they keep going. To become rich, you need to give up procrastination and start taking action. To give up procrastination, start by breaking your tasks into smaller, manageable steps. Sometimes we procrastinate because the task seems too big and overwhelming. By breaking it down, it becomes more doable. Set small goals and focus on one step at a time. Also, use time management techniques. Make a schedule and stick to it. Set deadlines for yourself and hold yourself accountable. If you struggle to stay focused, try the Pomodoro technique. Work for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break. Repeat this cycle. It helps to keep you on track and makes big tasks feel more manageable. For example, if you want to write a book but keep putting it off, set a goal to write for just 15 minutes a day. Over time, those minutes add up and you'll make progress. Remember, the key is to start now, not tomorrow.
Procrastination is a thief of time and dreams. Don't let it steal yours. Take action today and start moving towards your goals. You'll be surprised at how much you can achieve when you stop waiting and start doing. 6. Give up. Complaining. Complaining is like putting all your focus on what's wrong instead of what's right. When you complain, you waste time and energy that could be spent finding solutions. It creates a negative mindset and makes it harder to see opportunities. Successful people don't waste time complaining. They focus on finding solutions and taking action. They understand that every minute spent complaining is a minute lost. To become rich, you need to give up complaining and start looking for ways to improve your situation. To give up complaining, start by becoming aware of how often you do it. Keep a journal and note every time you complain. You might be surprised at how often it happens. Once you're aware, you can start changing your behavior. When you catch yourself complaining, stop and ask yourself, what can I do to change this? Focus on solutions instead of problems. For example, if you're unhappy with your job, instead of complaining about it, think about what you can do to improve your situation. Can you talk to your boss about your concerns? Can you look for a new job? Can you start a side business? Also, practice gratitude. Each day, take a moment to think about what you're thankful for. It helps shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right. Over time, this can change your mindset and make you more positive and solution-oriented. For example, if you're stuck in traffic and find yourself complaining, shift your focus. Think about how you can use that time productively. Can you listen to an audiobook or a podcast? Can you call a friend or family member? Turning a negative situation into a positive one can make a big difference in your mindset. Remember, complaining doesn't solve problems. Action does. Give up complaining and start taking action to improve your life. 7. Give up toxic relationships. Toxic relationships are like anchors that hold you down. They drain your energy, lower your self-esteem and keep you from reaching your full potential. These relationships can be with friends, family members or colleagues who are negative, unsupportive or even abusive. Successful people understand the importance of surrounding themselves with positive, supportive people. They know that their environment and the people they spend time with have a big impact on their success. To become rich, you need to give up toxic relationships and build a network of positive, supportive people. To give up toxic relationships, start by identifying them. Think about the people in your life who bring you down, who are always negative, or who don't support your goals. Once you've identified them, distance yourself from them. It might be difficult, especially if they're close to you, but it's necessary for your well-being and success. Also, focus on building positive relationships. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who support your goals, and who lift you up. Join groups or communities where you can meet like-minded people. For example, if you have a friend who always tells you that your dreams are unrealistic, limit your time with them. Instead, spend time with friends who encourage you and believe in your potential. Join a club or a group that shares your interests and goals. Building a positive network will help you stay motivated and focused on your path to success. Remember, the people you surround yourself with have a big impact on your mindset and your success. Give up toxic relationships and build a network of positive, supportive people. Your journey to wealth and success will be much smoother with the right people by your side. Becoming rich isn't just about making money. It's about changing your mindset and habits. By giving up these seven things, fear of failure, negative thinking, making excuses, a fixed mindset, procrastination, complaining, and toxic relationships, you'll open up a world of opportunities and set yourself on the path to success. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. Take small steps every day, and over time, you'll see big changes. So, are you ready to drop the heavy rock and pick up the gold? Start today, and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Don't forget to type, I'm ready for gold, in the comments, and I'll reply with a heart.
and please like, subscribe, and share this journey to wealth with your friends. Together we can achieve greatness.